Hi, my name is Jessica Nelms, and I am here to explain to you Failsafe's blameless process that changes cultures. Today, we live in a fast-paced world, as if we were robots trying to keep up with the demands of everyday life. It is as if we have toggled the on switch to the fast-paced mode to life, and it is now stuck. Before we begin, I need you to think, for we are a thinking method. We wonder why people don't speak up. When something bad happens, people know why, and they feel horrible about the event. Even their peers sometimes make things worse than they need to be. So again, I wonder why people don't speak up when they know something is wrong or that they did something out of procedure. Well, people are scared. Companies have piles of procedures and paperwork to keep them safe. But people do not have this, and this is not okay. It should be unacceptable. Our job is to dig deep and understand. So, how do we get people to talk? Here we go. We prefer to catch events when they are small, before they cause tragic loss. But right now, I am going to briefly explain to you how we handle the big events. So the big event happens. The company goes to their call list providing three outside evidence gatherers that will not intermingle to prevent bias against the investigation. Each evidence team will gather evidence in one of three categories, people, physical, and paper. We reference this as the three Ps. While gathering evidence, the goal is to not let your assumptions lead you, but let the evidence guide you by jumping into the evidence stream and seeing where it goes. Our method is all evidence-based because evidence never lies. Then, when you do this process right, the results are fascinating. All of the evidence is gathered, and each team separately develops their final conclusion on the physical causes. Then the evidence gatherers come together into a group, sharing their findings. This is where magic happens. Three vectors are formed, and the physical causes and human causes are now made apparent. It is here where you are able to identify the people involved in the incident, the stakeholders. Now, this is where I want you to pay very close attention. We gather these stakeholders and put them into a stakeholder meeting. This meeting is two days in length, but divided into three sections. This meeting is crucial because this is where people change. On the first day, the evidence is presented to the stakeholders just as the evidence was presented to the three forms of evidence gatherers, the three Ps. There are so many interesting dialogues to talk about when what, with what happens during these stakeholder meetings, especially since it's a no-blame safe zone. But there's no way I can do that in this video. So for now, let me ask you something. Can you honestly tell me that if someone showed you evidence of something you personally did, you'd be able to deny it? The very least, the evidence would make you think. This is key. After the stakeholders have viewed the evidence, they are the only ones allowed to determine the physical and human causes. They are the only ones allowed to write themselves up and determine smart action items. I need you to realize that the evidence gatherers never told them their conclusions. They just showed the evidence. Therefore, it is now time for reflection. The stakeholders must answer two important questions. What is it about the way we are that contributed to the event and what is it about the way I am that contributed to the event? Then, the stakeholders themselves determine their own smart action items. Other methods avoid people, but people are what cause problems. We focus on them. Designing logic trees, determining only system causes, and blaming things on gross negligence are just going to give you more problems. Do you really want your workers to be robots? Wouldn't it be nice to have people thinking for themselves instead of being mindless? We are becoming a robotic society, people. Let's get off that path. I want you to think about your kids at home. 
Would you want them to develop logic trees for their problems? Or would you want them to develop their own critical thinking skills? Real problems get solved by changing the way you think, the real root of problems, not by logic trees. Here at Failsafe, we are committed to our business to change people because we truly believe that when people change, everything changes.